So last week I came across this absolutely amazing tool called Diffit that has put together a lot of the other AI tools and used a variety of features. It's by the team that made Seesaw, so I think it's got some real credibility here. And what has really amazed me is the amount of features they've put together already. I'm telling you this, there's a bit of a hurry. If you check it in by the 1st of November, you get three months free, which means three months of developing awesome tools, getting new materials there as soon as humanly possible. So let's get to it. You can use the AI in three main ways. You can type like a search engine, and I think that's the way most people do most of the time. But the other two features have some real power. So let's start by generating our resources that way. What you're going to see is the adapted reading passage, which is done by age, a summary, key vocabulary words, multiple choice questions, short answer questions, and open-ended prompts. The second function I really like is that you can take a YouTube video and with the YouTube video it will do exactly the same because it can take the transcript. It allows up to about a 10-15 minute video. This might change in future so you can't have a full hour video but really really powerful. Again you'll get all the same text, all the same features, you'll be able to check your answers and play with this as you like. You can also copy text and usefully you can make a PDF. If it's a scanned PDF, I don't think it's so good on the OCR, but for a PDF that has been electronically generated, it's awesome. Um, this, of course, is not in real time. I'm skipping ahead a bit. It takes about 30 seconds. And again, here you can see we've got all the same functions and they're all happily going along. So you've got your editable text, you've got everything you need to check things through. Um, and anything that you've created, you can have a My Resources. And so I'm going to go back to the first one because I think it's a nice, easy one. Primary versus secondary research. Here's the power. Export and share. And you can see you can print or save a PDF, printable doc. The powerful one that I really like is the Google Forms quiz, which we'll have a look at it. But look at all these lovely functions. Bubble Maps, Interactive, um, all sorts of Google Slides, Google Docs. Um, all of this is available for you. I'll also demonstrate the Freya model for you in a little while because I think that's a really powerful one and something there. Flashcards, workbooks, extremely useful. Let's go to look at the Google Form quiz. Okay, I'm going to take a couple of these out, but notice you can tick and have just the things that you want here. So very powerful. Uh, I don't necessarily need all of the things that are available here. But I think the adapted reading passage would be happy and get rid of a few of the extra prompts. It might ask you for your Google ID again, and that's fine. And again, I have sped this up because uh, I don't want you to watch a scrolling screen. About 30 seconds again. And once you do this, you get primary versus secondary research. You could have the passage there, uh, depending what you want to do. Uh, maybe have some of the keywords if you want to have. But notice, it's created a full quiz for you. It's put the auto marking in. Now, this only works on the multiple choice, but the short answers are there. Um, you just have to mark those yourself. But very, very powerful feature, and I think worth the price of admission by itself. Let's go back and have a look at some of the other models here. And really, one of the ones I'd like to illustrate and have a look at for you is the Freya model, because I think it's a very powerful model for teaching vocabulary. And as you all know, I have a strong interest in that. So let's create that. This one comes with a teacher instruction page, which I think is really useful. And then what we have is each item, the frame model with the definition. And you can add things or you can encourage students to do that. But also you've got read and take notes. You've got quite a few functions here. The multiple choice questions are there. And again, you can pick and choose what you want to have. And this is a very powerful way of generating a student booklet at once. So while we've got three months free, let's take full advantage of this and hopefully our various districts and schools will purchase it for us because it's an amazing time saver. Thank you Diffit for producing this and I look forward to it getting even better and better as it continues. Please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video, you want more videos like it, you want to see more AI resources rather than straight programming videos and make sure you hit the sub channel. Uh, all those subs make a difference and make me feel good. Thank you.